We love laughing at others, but how well do we take jokes directed at us? Anyone will now tell you comedy is serious business and some of your favorite artists are with us not just to share a joke, of course, we're going to make sure they do plenty of that so that there's enough bang for our buck, guys. But also, for, uh, tell us what the space is looking like and for so many of you writing into us asking how you want to make comedy a career, well, who better than them to answer? I'm just going to introduce the panel briefly and then leave it to them to tell us more about themselves. I'm joined by Radhika Vaz here in Delhi. Amit Tandon also with us in the studios and Neville Shah joining us uh, from Mumbai and all of them starting with Radhika and are going to give us short introductions about themselves. Radhika. Hi, hi everybody who's watching. Um, I am a comedian <laughs> and I started doing improv comedy so I didn't start the stand-up route like these guys but I was doing improv but the reason I, I s ended up sort of like switching to stand-up was because uh, I wanted to perform in India. I used to live mm. in New York at the time and it just seemed like it would be easier for a one person thing to right. travel rather right. than with six other people right. and that's sort of how I stumbled into it now I love it. Oh super, mm -hmm. it's great to love your work right? Yeah. <laughs> Amit? Hi, I'm Amit Tandon, uh, you know, I'm an engineer, MBA, had a marriage <laughs> and two kids, so basically never stopped making, making mistakes. So after 10 <laughs> years of, uh, you know, working in the corporate sector, I thought let me try and make another mistake but it kind of worked out so. Right. Now I'm a stand-up comedian, almost full time. Right, Neville. Hi, what you uh, say about I, my name is Neville. I am a stand-up comic. I'm also a, a group creative director at an ad agency, Ogilvy and Mather. Uh, that's my day job. I work with a comedy group called SNG Comedy. We do sketch, we do improv, uh, we do some live shows and stuff. Yeah, but that's more or less what we are. Right. Thanks very much. Uh, we get started right away. Amit, now, you know, you keep talking about being this ma married guy. You're known as a married guy in the comedy space. Now, you sort of sort of really use that to your advantage, mm -hmm. talking about uh, uh, produced by mother, directed, directed by, by wife. wife. Now, yeah. uh, that's a unique space mm -hmm. to be in, right, in the yeah. comedy world. So how much of your success sort of do you owe to your, you know, this particular... Yeah, I think 90% of what mm -hmm. I am is because of this. Because, uh, see, the thing is, every comic brings their experience mm. and point of view when they start doing comedy because mm. it's just about you know you've written it mm. you've experienced it so i somehow fell into that space where mm. people started introducing ma me mm. uh, as the married mm. guy because mm. all my jokes were around it right and i think i intend to keep it like that mm. probably you know married parent would be the next thing i'll do because right. i'm now writing a lot about my kids i see okay so. i think you know the one of the first things that I thought I would ask you when I'm going to stick to my script is that how does one get into comedy? I know that we all love, some of us have a great sense of humor and we love making people laugh. We're also sure. good at it. We yeah. all love jokes. But yeah. you, you got into it very seriously. You came all the way f uh, from New York to India to sort of look at the comedy space here. What is it like? What was it like when you came and what was the response? You know, I f the, the, the one big thing for me is I didn't come from stand-up to stand-up. I came mm. from improv yeah. to stand-up. So mm. that was sort of the... Uh, I, the difference, two countries and two completely different hmm. sort of types of, yeah, types of comedy. Right. Uh, so I think for me, it was just really interesting to come into such a new space because in, Amer in New York and in lots of parts of the West, comedy has been around for so long. Hmm. And, you know, in a way, I, I personally felt there was more opportunity because it was a new space. Hmm. And also I noticed that there weren't that many women doing it. Hmm. Um, and in that way, I've certainly been right. It is a new space. There's a lot of opportunity. There aren't that many women doing it. And so I've been able to work more uh, because of that. Mm. But um, I, I, I don't think I've answered the question. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. I think I've got what I wanted. There's going to be lots more questions to answer. Okay. Neville, if I could ask you, you know, uh, you have uh, a day job. Like you said, you work with O&M. Now, both for Radhika, I think, and Amit, this is, comedy is largely what you do. You spend yeah. most of your day with this or things around this. Mm -hmm. You haven't deviated. You've got something completely different. Why is that? Are you hedging your bets? Uh, I'm not hedging my bets. I, I am an insomniac. I sleep three, four hours a night. So, mm -hmm. for me, it's not a problem. That's you uh, and Shah Rukh Khan. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Except the level of success <laughs> is different. Uh, the, the thing with... Uh, Advertising is that it's something that I love to do. I love doing, I love advertising. It's not like uh, mm. it's it's a career because for the sake of it. Mm. But also, uh, I have a family. I need money, uh, mm. and uh, 
advertising pays the bills really mm. and with comedy the kind of comedy i do mm. i don't get as many corporate shows as right a lot of comics right uh, <laughs> and that's also because i won't stoop uh, not because you have oh, to okay. i don't have an e i don't have an easy step okay uh, i don't have an easy set at all right. uh, most of my set does have foul language uh, does have concepts that might not work uh, at corporates so what's uh, the let, let me, let me just interrupt you. let me just interrupt you sorry neville first you and then radhika what is the idea of doing it this way is it let me just try and get into the mind of of of, of an artist uh, are you sort of trying to shake them up into a response shake them up into thinking going the laughter route is is that a plan is this according to a plan or is it just the way you are yeah. no so it's not about shaking anybody up or anything i just talk about what i want to on stage hmm. it's like uh, radhika was saying earlier hmm. you know before we started hmm. saying that i talk about what i want to i have the comfort of another job hmm. uh, so i and when i say i don't want to stoop i don't mean as a comedian as a comedian hmm. i don't want to talk about what corporates want me to talk about right uh, ki delhi pe joke maar bombay pe joke maar talk about gujaratis talk about parsis whatever right. you know like i i don't want to do that i'll yes, do what yes. i need to do and also it is a let out for me i mean at the end of the day advertising is a job and it comes with its set of frustrations right uh and on I, when i do stand up i don't this, this is how you bench them really right. censor myself yeah right okay i'm just going to get radhika and uh, amit in now do you sort of ever worry like do you sort of need a fall back fall back plan he has one like yeah. he sort of being honest it pays sure. the bills does one sort of need to have it at what stage do you say no i don't need it it's okay i'm i'm okay where i am i'll be safe yeah see i'm 42 so mm. i've been working i mean i had a job like he did in advertising mm. actually for okay. a very long time okay. and i only quit that uh, several years mm. ago i don't have children mm. so i don't have anyone to take care of but right. myself right. uh and but you do need the money mm. and this is not an area that pays you very well unless uh, like nevel pointed out you have uh you know you get a lot of success with corporate shows mm. or a lot of mm. success with very large sold out shows and mm. stuff like that and all of that takes a lot of time to build mm. so you do need the money and i completely support anyone who has a day job and right. i also completely support anyone who's managed to crack the whole corporate show uh thing with their material the way it is because right. that means that you're doing the material you want to do and you happen to be making a good good living out of it right right see i Which is for me it's very different like you know i run you have a, responsibilities and like you know i have a business also so yeah. you know mm -hmm. for me it's been like you know uh, when i'm spending a lot of time in comedy i'm you know there's some loss that i am incurring on mm -hmm. my business side mm -hmm. but it's still kind of around okay. there uh, but yes uh, somehow corporate shows have been good for me so mm -hmm. today mm -hmm. i can spend like 80% of my time here and my 80% of my earning can come from mm -hmm. comedy mm -hmm. that's where i am mm -hmm. so uh, for me it's it, that way it's been good i think if you are uh, you know it's at different stages like so if you are a bachelor for example and a lot of 21 22 year olds are getting into comedy mm -hmm. seriously speaking what how much money do you need right. like you know if you <laughs> want the kind of money a software developer would mm. make in mm. the first year of his job mm. i think you can make that kind of money within one year in comedy you can start mm. making that kind of money mm. even just doing pub gigs you don't even have to think about corporate shows mm. but if you are thinking that you know i really want to make great money it will mm. take you 4 to 5 years but and you, you will get to, there if yes, you're good yeah. again you, yeah. i guess if you're good you you'll get there Yeah. Not a problem. Now, you know, uh comedy is actually quite subjective. There are times when I I see, you know, acts by all of you mm -hmm. and I am sort of I, either rolling on the floor or, mm -hmm. and I'm wondering why the audience isn't quite getting there. Now, Radhika yeah. first to you. You know, with you, with your uh, work, very often I can see that you have something in mind. Perhaps let them think on these lines. This is what I want to say to them. Yeah. Is it is it sort of frustrating? I I mean, how does it work when you when you sort of don't get the response that perhaps you anticipate yeah. and you've got a lot of work around that sure. in your in your act? How sure. do you sort of deal with that? You just deal with it. I mean, it's you like know the, the audience grin and bear is, it. yeah you grin and bear it yeah. man because the audience is just this life a live organism that's mm. they're going to do its own thing and mm. you don't have control over it which is mm. what's fun about doing right. what we do right? right like we have no idea what the outcome will be mm. and sometimes i can look into the audience and i see 60% women 40% guys mm. it's going yeah. to be a good show right. just based on the material right. that i tend to right. tend right. to put out uh, but then i've been surprised where i've had these big groups of men who have come alone to the show and know how that's happened even like that yeah. they've stumbled into my show accidentally and it's been a great show so right, okay. there's no way to judge and as a performer one of the things you learn as a professional performer is mm. that you can't allow the audience uh energy to uh to 
to spoil your show. Sure. You can, if it's good energy, you can ride it and make it a, a bigger and better. Super sure. But if right. it's not coming to you, you right. still have to produce enough energy right. to keep it going for right. the 10 or 15 people who may be getting right. it. Right. Exactly. So for the Natasha and the audience, right. I can't let you down by being like, well, everyone else doesn't like my shows. Right. I'm, I'm yeah. going to leave. Yeah. No, I have to do this show for you because yeah. you want okay. to watch the show the okay. way it is. Okay. Neville, uh, respond uh, here. If I can just ask you to come in. How, how uh, difficult is this to do? See, you just have to work harder if the audience is not getting it. Uh, I mean, it's, you'll do does the same thing. Let me ask you, does that happen? Of course it does. It happens across, it happens across the board. Hmm. Uh, it depends uh, from city to city, from show to show. You really don't know what you're going to get. Hmm. Sometimes you get a bar gig that is so great, hmm. so great that you'll be like, but these guys are drunk. How are they even getting it? But in and just for the benefit of our viewers, sorry, just for the benefit of, you, of, of our viewers, an auditorium show is perhaps where we expect the sort of more informed and sort of a certain class of audience is, no, is that we what we mean when we say an auditorium show the time there i would define it as they're coming there to watch comedy yeah. I see. as opposed to a bar show where they're coming to watch comedy yes but also to unwind yeah. and stuff like that right. so it's that an auditorium show is no distractions they're coming specifically to watch the people on the poster I see. Uh, and they're coming to watch comedy yeah so I you see. expect those shows to anyway be better yeah. You I sweat a lot more, that that's really what it is. Okay. I don't. Like yes. once for me, I'm one of those people who, and, and I used to read about comedians who are like, well, we read the room and then we change everything. I'm like, not me, man. I can learn one you set and that's about yeah. that. Okay. And once the set is learned, I will perform it as well as I can. Right. I will try not to be distracted by the negative hate energy coming yeah. from the audience. <laughs> but that's the set but they're going to get. So take it or leave it. Yeah, pretty oh. much. Right. Okay. I'm yeah. on the other end of the spectrum. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I change a lot depending upon the audience, I you see. know, the response. So, so you, you improvise know, could, as you go along depending yeah, on Yeah. So works. see, for me, the thing is, you, you know, they've come in to see stand-up. Yeah. Like, Hearts is an act. Like, it's it's a one-hour show which, is, uh, which has a certain script also. Hmm. So it's tougher for her to change. Hmm. In my case, the, you know, if I see that the audience response is not good on, let's say for in English, you mm. know, they're not getting English, mm. I'll move to Hindi more, okay? Right. okay. They're not getting the more, you know, intelligent jokes, you move to the easier ones. I see. So I'll do that. For me, the thing is, if they've spent 500 rupees, my job is to ensure they get the best out of it.